China's foreign ministry says President Xi Jinping will chair a virtual summit with five Central Asian countries on Tuesday in Beijing. This meeting is to commemorate 30 years of diplomatic ties. The five Central Asian countries are Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan. Trade volume between the two sides has increased 100 times in these 30 years. China and the five Central Asian countries have promised to promote economic and trade cooperation in the future. Yu Yang reports from Beijing. China, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan and Turkmenistan released a joint initiative on high quality and sustainable development of economic cooperation and trade. The document says China will expand cooperation with Central Asian countries in cross-border e-commerce, green development and the new energy. The economic cooperation and trade between China and Central Asian countries have been growing. Under our joint initiative, we will work to expand our cooperation in different fields, especially in digital economy, artificial intelligence and smart cities. Wang says China has had successful cooperation with Central Asian nations in fighting the COVID-19 pandemic, as well as energy transportation and China-Europe Railway Express. China hopes to continue cooperation with Central Asian countries in areas such as poverty reduction, COVID-19 vaccines and food safety. We would like to enhance communication with Shanghai Cooperation Organization and the World Trade Organization to practice multilateralism. Representatives of Central Asian countries say they're willing to work closer with China on green development, finance and infrastructure. China is one of Kazakhstan's most important economic and trade partners. We hope to expand cooperation with China in energy, transportation and cross-border e-commerce. We have seen China's fast development over the past few years. Kyrgyzstan will work to strengthen cooperation with China in digital economy and green development while pushing our bilateral relations to a higher level. China established diplomatic ties with the Central Asian states three decades ago, and since then the trade volume between China and the region has increased more than 100-fold. Chinese authorities say the country will continue opening up, stick to mutual benefits and win-win results in working with Central Asia countries to strengthen economic and trade cooperation while pushing China's relations with the region to a new level. Yu Yang, CGTN, Beijing. Now let's get some insights from Chen Yu. He's an assistant research professor with the Institute of Eurasian Studies at the China Institute of Contemporary International Relations. Professor Chen, it's good to have you with us on the show. So Central Asia, Central Asian countries, they have their own security concerns, uh, transnational terrorism and also getting caught up in uh, some regional external power play. So Kazakhstan, for example, saw some unprecedented political and social chaos this month. So. Uh, talk to us first about the biggest concerns for these countries and how they address them. Yeah, due to the impact of the pandemic and the international economic situation, uh, economic development of Central Asia countries faces many pro uh, difficulties. This also led to some domestic uh, problems in some countries. For example, as you said, uh, there was chaos in Kazakhstan recently and China immediately expressed our concern and President Xi Jinping sent an oral letter to Kada, uh, President Tokayev uh, expressing our support for the uh, government uh, to stabilize the situation. At the same time, due to the U.S. withdrawal of troops, uh, the situation in Afghanistan has also challenged the stability of Central Asia uh, countries. Uh, the security of Central Asian countries is related to the stability of the entire Eurasian continent. I think it is important for Central Asia country uh, okay. uh, over the uh, past three decades China and the Central Asia countries uh, have carried out fruitful cooperation at SAO and bilateral levels uh, in the future China and the Central Asia countries should continue to expand uh, and deepen our cooperation uh, to jointly uh, safeguard uh, regional security which is our common obligation these uh, five Central Asian nations, they've all signed on to the Belt and Road Initiative that's launched by China. So um, what regional cooperation has there been under that? Uh, yes. Uh, if you uh, look at the map, it is obvious uh, that uh, Central Asian countries are the first stop of our 
uh, Belt Road initi initiative to uh, westward. Uh, the success of the Belt and Road Initiative is closely related to the cooperation of Central Asian countries. Uh, currently, Central Asia is also the region where the main achievements of the Belt Road and the Belt and Road Initiative have been realized. Uh, Central Asia countries has also uh, a very positive attitude toward the Belt and Road Initiative uh, because the Belt and Road Initiative contributes to the independent uh, economic development of Central Asian countries. Uh, in the future, we will take uh, the 13th, uh, 30th anniversary of the uh, establishment of dip uh, diplomatic relations as a new start point uh, to further extend expand the cooperation between China and Central Asia countries on the framework of the Belt and Road Initiative so that our cooperation will be more solid and stable. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate your insights as uh, Chen Yu, research professor with the Institute of Eurasian Studies.